Hey guys, welcome to CR Entity Designers. Chetan here, and in this tutorial, we are going to learn to make the boolean on a curved surface. So just add a cylinder, and you can go with the 32 words, and then change it to the triangle fan. Okay, then go to the side view, and now we will add that curve. So just rotate it into the 90 degree. And then adjust it scale. You can scale it along the y axis and then add a loop cut at the center and then add loop cuts like this. We need to add the loop cuts of in between the two loop cuts so to make that squares form of the shape. So then you can delete these words, you can delete the one side words because we don't need those words that side then you can delete these faces also and now you can see we got this curvature surface and you can see all the topology is in so you can see all the topology is in the square form and we that's why i have added those loop cuts and then add one more cylinder and this cylinder is just to measure the vertex count which is necessary to add that boolean so you can see 16 words are not fine here just we need to reduce few words to make that boolean so you can calculate it then add one more cylinder and then this time we will go with the 12, uh, 12 words and then rotate it into the 90 degree and then fix it right like this and then move it along the y axis sorry x axis and now you can see 12 words are fine to make that proper topology proper geometry so we can connect those words then use the boolean operation difference boolean operation you can use the bool tool or you can use the boolean modifier for that then apply that boolean operation boolean modifier and now you can see if we got a perfect boolean and now you can check those words if there are any extra words then you can merge it or you can do just simple the merge by distance press m and then merge by distance and now just add a loop it's like this just to connect the words and to make to remove those polygons we need to add few loop cuts like this and we can create the color based topology to create that code based topology, you just select these words and then connect to vertex path. Right click and then connect to vertex path. And now you can see we got the perfect boolean on our cylinder, on our curve shape. You can see from the side view also. then add a subdivision surface modifier sub d modifier and then increase its level and now you can see it's look pretty well decent so shift d to duplicate and for just for the backup and now you can delete the, this the sides parts and we don't need that so just x to delete now you can add the solidify modifier to give the little bit of thickness just select these edges and you can extrude these edges just we try to add a little bit of design on it just to make something from this piece so just select this edge then extrude it along the z axis like this just we want to create the clam kind of shape here then extrude it and move it along the z axis and now you can see it's look pretty well just you need to add few loop cuts to tight these edges so just add the supportive geometry here supportive loop cuts and 
and now you can see it's look pretty well decent make sure your solidify modifier should be top of your subdivision surface modifier then give the thickness to your solidify modifier and that's fine and shift D to duplicate just for the backup and now you can apply that solidify modifier and then you need to add loop cuts support loop cut to tight the geometry to maintain that shape so add loop cuts like this which will help us to maintain the shape of the object you can see just you need to add the supporty loop cuts you can move these words like this little bit for the perfect shape so you can see it's look pretty well decent then add the supporting geometry here the supporting geometry helps in the UV unwrapping time to make those UVs even that's why the supporting geometry is important mostly in the sub-D modeling you need a good geometry on your mesh and take, take the symmetrize and choose the right axis you will get that option in the mesh and then symmetrize and choose the proper axis in this case the axis will work I guess fine then add loop cuts like this and that's look pretty well decent we have easily modeled this and if you have any doubts then you can ask me in the comment box i will try to answer your questions thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care